Hi, how you doing? This is Mark from Job Creation US. Uh, we did our rally in San Diego on Friday, and we spent some time in La Jolla, uh, California, which is an absolutely fantastic place. Uh, it seems like very successful people here, and uh, we've really found this a town where we can relax. I was taking a walk, and I saw an electric bike store, which I knew nothing about electric bikes, so I wanted to stop in and ask, and I, I met Mike, and Mike decided that, uh, hey, this would be great if some other people around the country can learn about electric bikes. So I'm at Mike's Electric Bikes. Mike's Electric Bikes in La Jolla on Pearl here, which is a beautiful street. And uh, I guess Mike's going to tell us about electric bikes and, and what happens with them and so forth. Okay, well, I'm Mike, uh, Mike Zellner of Mike's Electric Bikes. And uh, my whole goal in this uh, in this effort was to get people to reduce traffic, to improve the environment, and in doing that my thought was if we can get people to go from a two-car family to a one-car family, that would benefit society. And the fact is that most of our errands, our grocery shopping, our dry cleaning, most of our errands are within five to ten miles of our house. So why get into a car when you go two-wheel transportation? And uh, I was uh, laid off from a job at Sony Studios in Los Angeles, California, Culver City. And I was kind of at odd, odds and ends, didn't know what I wanted to do. And so I came by an electric bike shop, which has now been since out of business. Uh, their business model was to have one Chinese built uh, electric moped. It looked kind of cute, it had different colors, but it was just one model. So if you didn't like the, that model, if you didn't like that bike, just there was no sale so you were trying to innovate the market and, and yes. give people what they want well I felt well, you know what if I wanted to give I wanted to, so I started thinking well electric bikes I thought of electric transportation I thought about the green movement and I thought well why don't I also open up an electric bike shop with my emphasis being more on uh, variety and price point so I thought uh, I want to represent the most brands at the most variety of prices so the person would be difficult for them to say no or I can't do this. I mean, I have bikes going from five hundred and fifty dollars all the way up past three thousand dollars. And you'll ship them around the country. Nationwide shipping. Great. Uh, so um, my cur I have two stores. My first store I opened up in Pasadena, and its name currently, though will be changed, is E Power Vehicles, and it will be changed to Mike's Electric Bikes. That's Mike with a Z. Mike apostrophe Z. And so in Pasadena, I have a 1,500 square foot store. I have, I hired two people. Great. Uh, I have a, 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 an assistant who is now managing the store while I'm down in San Diego. And then I have a part-time technician who's an expert on fixing electric uh, vehicles. Uh, besides electric bikes, I also sell electric scooters. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows, maybe later on I'll start selling four-wheel vehicles. But right now, I'm focusing on bikes. Great. Mike's electric bikes and scooters. Uh, my uh, website is still e-powervehicles.com, but it will soon be changed to Mike's Electric Bikes. That's Mike with a Z. So do you think that the electric vehicle, whether it be a bicycle or a car, has a real future in America? I honestly do, because I think people are really waking up to the realization that with traffic, parking, and gas, and maintenance, they could, in this economy, we need to save as much money as we can. And if you got rid of one car and go from a two-car family to a one-car family, mm -hmm. you literally could save, I wouldn't say tens of thousands, but at least thousands of dollars if you gave up one of your cars. And probably be healthier, too. And healthier, too. So, so this is a battery. Yes, most of, my, most of my bicycles have lithium-ion batteries, which is the latest technology available. The Tesla and the Volt. <coughs> Do the you want to stop? That's a, that's a battery charger, right? Yeah, Come, keep it going. Uh, that's my that's my dog Wrigley. He saw some bicyclists and wants to join them. Uh, lithium ion technology is what the Tesla and the Volt have, and also the Nissan Leaf uh, have uh, lithium ion batteries. And what I like about these bikes here is that instead of taking the whole bike in, you can just lift a seat and take a battery out. So these charge on any household outlet, 110. So very, lithium ions are very much, they're, they're the same batteries that are in your computer and in your cell phones, except this is a little bit larger. 
And for example, in a car like the Le Nissan Leaf or the Tesla, you have hundreds of these. Right. And it takes about six hours to charge. They, uh, my bicycles go about 20 to 25 miles on a charge. And if you, you know, lose your charge, you can still bicycle home. Uh, and uh, which wheel moves on this front or the back? Yeah, this one is a uh, front. It, the the latest technology is like a hub motor. I just want to see if I can move this. Up. We can move on to another one. Yeah. There we go. And it just goes like this. Whoa. <laughs> Very quiet. That's the nice thing about this. Also, you know, it will also lessen noise pollution. So basically, bicyclists are for people who uh, electric bicycles are for people who want to pedal, but you know maybe are getting a little tired. Or uh, a lot of my customers, surprisingly, are not young people, but actually baby boomers. Those are my uh, most uh, the people who buy my bikes are baby boomers. Mm -hmm. They want to exercise, but they or if they have a hill near the house, they don't want to climb up the hill. Um, and this, this is a model called a HEB. Mm -hmm. um, I also have one called Pathfinder. Two different companies, but the bicycles are made from the same factory. Where do they come from? Uh, China. Most of our products are either the parts or the whole bike itself is from China. That doesn't mean, that's not a slam because there are some good factories. I've sold a dozen of these bikes and I haven't had one returned yet. Of all the parts that might be needed on one of these bikes, What's the most common part that you have to ship away to China for? Uh, no, no, these come from China. They, they come from China, yeah. Right. But if anything has to be replaced, what has to be replaced most often on an electric bike? Oh, well, basically, uh, the bicycle unit motor is um, maybe the controller. The controller is underneath the battery in this particular bottle. And what it does, actually, it's right here where this, where this light is. And it does, it takes your throttle input and translates that and it tells the battery how much power to give to the motor. So it's a computer? Yeah, it's kind of a brain. But the thing is, if, you are, if you're going up a steep hill or, uh, and, or something and you, you overtax the system, the controller is going to burn out. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that's most common. Uh, the head bikes, for example, have a two-year warranty. So I feel very confident in their quality that if something happens, that it can be easily replaced. I guess the direction I was going in is that as these new products from other places enter the market, uh, and when they're very cost effective, there still may be opportunity for American manufacturers to create aftermarket products. Well, what I did, what I've done is I I was looking for a tricycle that was good quality that I could electrify. There are some companies that offer electric tricycles, but I feel either the price point is too high or their quality is too low. So what I've done is I've taken an American manufacturer of, of tricycles, should I say the name? Absolutely. If you uh, works, Worksman, Worksman uh, Tricycles. Where are they from? Uh, I think Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, Worksman Tricycles, Pennsylvania. And I take their, their, I feel they make good quality tricycles for work, for res, for you know pleasure, and we electrify them. We put our own electric system that we get from some other company and we would create our own electric tricycle, cheaper than, uh, than our competitors and higher quality. That's great, that's, that's what we'd like to hear. So, uh, so that's an example of an American-made product. Uh, these no-gas scooters here, now the parts may come from China, but the labor to put them together comes in the US, as well as uh, this uh, Ultra Motor and even the Beach Cruiser Pedego. The pieces come, may come from different countries, but the final assembly and the quality control is done here in the U.S., right. thus creating more jobs. Right. How many uh, man hours would go into a bike? How many? Oh, I, I have no idea how long, how much it would take to. But still, shifting days, over to this technology, days. even though it's a Chinese product, we're still getting some benefit. Where labor for these do all require American labor inputs. So that's, that's good. Yeah. That's 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 good. It, it means a lot. As we, as we go from one to the other. Now, these, these are regular air tires? And yes, yes. Okay, same as a regular bicycle? Correct, correct. So if, if, you, if you get a flat, you can have it fixed at any bike shop. Really. With, without giving away all the secrets that you learn from starting your own electrical bike shop, if there's someone else that wants to work with you, what's your phone number? Oh, okay, well, okay. I'll, my easiest one is my cell phone number, which I will never give up, which is 626-688-5321. And I have several addresses. My easiest one is michael.zellner7 at att.net. 
That's M I C H A E L dot Z E L L N E R seven at att.net. Uh, my my La Jolla score number is eight five eight four five six one four one six, and my Pasadena store number is six two six five seven seven six six eight seven. And we ship all around the nation. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. It's not easy. I feel the electric bicycle industry is still an immature industry from a retailer standpoint. There's only, which is one of the reasons why I came into this industry in the first place. There's very few competitors out there on the retail side. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, there's some online uh, companies, but there are very few bricks and mortars. So if you are, I saw the opportunity if I start early, and if I do a big enough marketing push, I could become a chain of electric bicycle stores. So you'd be willing to work with other people yeah. out across the country. Right, and this is the second second store. I opened the first one less than a year ago. I'm already opening my second. And as soon as I uh, get this one settled down, I'm opening to look my third. Good, good, that's, that's, that's creating jobs in itself. I mean, even though you may have only one person, one salesperson or two or three, that means a lot to the economy today. Right. I think it's great. And, and another thing about electric bikes is that if you have a DUI or you don't or you don't have a license, uh, you can ride an electric bicycle. You can still put most of these bicycles on buses and subways. So you have uh, and these go twice as fast as a regular bicycle. Uh, people use these bicycles to commute to work without getting sweaty uh, or even that that dirty at least in California. So um, there's a lot of advantages to having an electric bicycle. Great. That's great. I, I wish you a lot of luck. Yes, thank you. And thanks for letting us into your store. It's great. La Jolla is great. Yeah. Thanks th a lot. Thank you.